We just got back from the first ever Aquashella Daytona and I finally picked up a couple of new pieces. So it is time for a little baby coral haul. I picked up four pieces in total. Two of them are gonna be going into my main Red Sea Max 250 display tank. And then two of them are going to be going into the Reef Casa 12 gallon tank. This tank is doing much better Honestly, my only issue, which I guess some wouldn't say really is an issue, is overgrowth. So because of the overgrowth, a lot of things are starting to, you know, kill each other and not look so good. Like this guy right here does not look great. And it's just because everything is just growing together. This over here is a big problem. I don't know what to do about this. This rock is like one big piece, I think. Let's actually look. But uh, wh how, can I st how can I cut this off and stop it from continuing to grow over there. I don't know, let me know if you guys know what to do there. My little Fabia garden down here is doing really good as well. I got some chalices over here. These were both almost completely dead and they are growing back very nicely. Check out these white zombies. I put, I believe it was three polyps here a couple months ago and they're just springing out like crazy. My gold hammers, I can't remember if that was one or two heads. It is popping out new heads left and right and I am here for it. There's gotta be at least, I don't know, seven or eight on there now. The two coral that I am putting in this tank are awesome pieces that I am super stoked that I picked up. Both of them are Favias. We'll just wait till we get them in the light so you guys can check them out because they are sick. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm making a mess. These were both from the same tank. Eeh. Always clean them corals up. Hey. Ah. There's not even lights on these puppies and look how amazing they look. It's hard to tell, but I think this is the yellow submarine. And then I think this one is the Scorpion King, I believe. And we're gonna place them as if that is what it is. So I wanna put the, oh yeah, there, as soon as I put it in the water, you were able to tell. I wanna put the submarine Fabia right there. I'm gonna move this mushroom that, oh. Watch out clownfish, get away from me. That should be cool right there, I think. Hopefully it grows on here and then I could pop this guy out maybe. Maybe not, but. Or the shot. I don't know what this stuff is, but it's gotta come out. Let's see. Oof, that would be cool. I don't think that's gonna stay there though. All right, I think I'm just gonna put it on a, a disc. I got one of these guys left here. There it goes. Okay, I guess there. I gotta watch out with this guy. He's, they be waiting to attack. Spin this guy around. Get all these guys back organized. Scooch this one over maybe. Yeah, look how much growth that's having. I think that's gonna be a good spot for it, for both of them, actually. Dropped in a little uh, nori to keep the fishies occupied over there. But yeah, these are really nice. This one was an unexpected surprise. I didn't, you know, I wasn't necessarily looking for it, but I saw it and then I found out how much it was and it was just like, how, how am I gonna leave it behind? Ready for the best part? I only paid $20 per frag. $20 for a submarine Fabia and $20 for a Scorpion King Fabia. I don't know, I think that's a pretty good deal. The cheapest I've seen them is like 40 to 60 on the, on the submarine. I haven't really seen the Scorpion one, but 20 bucks, like how could you go wrong? I still do want the Fabia of the Gods. That's kind of the one I was looking for, looking for but the submarine is, it was also on my list. So it's just like, you know, a stepping stone. All right, let me drop these lights into blue real quick so that we can check out the colors better. Oof. Ah. All right, so that Scorpion King, it's got like a, a orange center and then a red rim around the center and then yellow walls, which is 
so cool. <laughs> I don't even know. It looks really cool next to the uh, the green one that I got over here too. So that's dope. It's got what one, two, three, three heads on it approximately. It's like a fourth one growing out there. Anyway, that one's that one's cool. It should look nice when it starts kind of mounding like these guys do. This one is just getting out of control. So sick. The like flex, like the um, the like little sprinkles of gold in it are crazy. And then the submarine Fabia. So it's a. It, I think the centers. I know this one has the red in it, which I don't think the Fabia of the Gods has. You could see a little bit of the uh, reddish over on this side, not so much on this side. I also think that the centers are a little bit darker than the Fabia of the Gods. This is like a dark teal and those are kind of a little bit more of a, a lighter teal, I guess. That one also has like three to four heads on it, eyes on it, whatever, and uh, it was 20 bucks. Those are the only two that we're putting in this tank because we don't have any space. As it is, I have like this crazy Fabia garden going on down here, which uh, isn't gonna work for too much longer. I mean, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what, you know? I, I need to, I, yeah, I don't know. They just grow really good here, so that's why I kind of want to keep putting them there and um and see what happens like that yeah they're just growing good this tank on the other hand is really pissing me off right now not the tank itself the tank is great if you guys want five percent off at reef costa use code dream state but i cannot get rid of this pesky sino and now i had paula bail out on my frog spawn which sucks i think it might be due to the fact that my ac kind of just tanked out so the temperature probably got a little bit warmer in here Potentially, I don't know. I'm gonna check the phosphate levels right now. I haven't checked them to see if we're still reading pho Well to see if we're reading phosphate or if we're zeroed out also a possibility I just can't I can't get rid of it. I'm big. Maybe my water changes are too big. I'm doing like 50% I It's frustrating anyway, the two corals that I got are this rhodactus mushrooms from PV reefs which has some really nice coloring in it. I guess you'll have to see it when it goes in. And then this guy is a Christmas Favia, which I have in the other tank. And the only reason I got it is because I won it in Pluck a Duck and it was the best looking coral in my opinion for the one category. So that's why I picked it up and I figured I would just pop it in here somewhere. You know the drill, just dip it up. Cool, now that those are done, let's give this tank a little phosphate test and see where we're at. One, two. Six minute timer begins. Let's get this guy off this, uh, off this plug here. Some good glue. Where do I wanna drop this guy? Um, wow, look at those colors. Hopefully he moves off of this rock a little bit. I need to trim this rock. 0.4 phosphates, still pretty high. And I just replaced the GFO earlier this week, so I don't know why it's not going down. I trimmed off some of the rock so that it would fit better. What about here for now? I don't know that that's a good idea. Nope, I don't like it. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna go to my original plan, I guess. Let's go right there. These are the guys that we got over here. A Rhodactus mushroom and Christmas Fabia. The Rhodactus mushroom has some awesome colors in it. The camera does not do it justice. It's got like a green mouth, orange, it has a purple rim on it. It looks really, really crazy. And then over here, this guy, the Christmas Fabia, you know, Christmas Fabia. It's a nice frag though. It's got one, two, three, four, four heads on it. So I don't, I don't know if it's going to stay here. That's probably not the best spot for it, but for right now, that's, that's going to have to do. I wanted to make like this whole second ledge all frog spawns, but, uh, we have to see what happens here because if they still keep doing no bueno, that's not gonna work out. This hammer up here is doing fine, so I don't know, man. The torch is also doing good. I haven't been able to, I increased my lighting a little bit as well, but I haven't been able to get my Zoas to stop reaching so much. These guys over here are doing good. They are more of those short, like short stem Zoas, I guess. And, uh, 
they're doing okay because they're not reaching that bad. These guys, on the other hand, are really reaching. I'm guessing what? These are these are Pallies probably, I'm, I guess. And then these guys, little short ones are Zoas. Duncans are also doing fine, so very strange. Back here is where that head fell off to. It seems to be just sticking there, so I'm not going to take it out. I'm going to leave it and, I don't know, let it, let's see if it, if it hook, I, I don't know what's going to happen, but it seems comfortable there, so I'm not even going to leave it. Look, it's, it's opened up more here than it has over here on this stem, so we're just going to let it hang out and see what happens. Would be so nice to fill up this tank with beautiful corals so that our homies Captain Blackfin and Gizmo have some nice corals to play in. Oh yeah, and both of these corals were also 20 bucks, so $20 each frag that I got, which is awesome. Let me know if you guys know why my phosphate, just, I cannot get it down. Still 0.4, running GFO in the back. Let me know if you got any other tips for getting that phosphate down. Also, if anybody's interested, this tank is still for sale. Hit me up. That is my full haul from Aquashella Daytona. Nothing crazy, but we did get some new pieces, which is a little exciting, you know? It lifts up my spirits a little bit, and every single piece that I got was only 20 bucks, so that is a win in my book. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.